I still think it's the same case. So first, from an economics point of view, the banking sector remains 25, 27% of the ASX, which is way too high for any economy, exactly because they are non-productive. I mean, the banks are important in terms of being facilitated of credit, but they cannot be 27% of the stock index, and it certainly shouldn't be 27% of any economy. And that is the case in, in, in Australia, and that remains an issue. Then you have the fact that that's been pointing out, I think, in recent, recent weeks in Australia, that the capital capital in the Australian banks is one half of what it is in the rest of the world. So you have a very thin uh, spread at deposit base. But most importantly, I think, basically the ability to continue to extract earnings from, uh, from leveraging credit is very difficult in Australia. I think Australia is at a maximum peak in terms of private lending and, and even corporate lending. So I think there is really no earnings potential. So I think relative weight needs to reduce. The earnings cycle is already peaking, stalling, falling in terms of the banks. And on the mining side, on the other hand, you have optionality, which was also why I loved it uh, 18, 12 months ago. Think about it, the world is priced to imperfection, right? I don't think the world should be priced to perfection in terms of mining, but uh, clearly, you know, being in resources, you have you know, 25% of the cost is energy, which is trading at uh, multi-decade low. You have technology improving every single day in terms of extraction and, and the infrastructure and, and, and facilitation and, and, and actually working on the goods. And on top of that, you are buying stuff which in price terms is still like option price. It's like a call option on the market into an environment where I think China is coming back online. I think the world would be in a better place in 17, 18. So I will remain overweight commodities. I will remain overweight the mining sector because it is an optionality on the future, which I think is very bright. Whereas I think most people is opposite me. They're very bullish short term and very negative long term, where I'm more negative short term and very bullish long term. Because I think you know, setting up the political, social, economic system, we are in the ninth inning with the relief pitching and being very tired. We are about to start a new game with new people, younger generation, different approach to, to what we do. And, and the winners in that will always be tangible answers on early on because that's, that's where everything starts. It's actually being productive and doing stuff.